With over 63,000 drug overdose deaths in 2016 alone, some cities are taking the opioid crisis into their own hands, like Philadelphia, which has the highest opioid death rate of any U.S. city. And officials say the city's on track for 1,200 overdose deaths. So what's Philadelphia's solution? Becoming the first U.S. city to legalize safe injection sites. But is this the best course of action? Let's ask our Fox News Medical A team's Dr. Mark Siegel and trial attorney in personal injury and litigation, Marie Napoli. Uh, and Marie, in full disclosure, you're suing some of these uh, pharmaceutical and manufacturing companies of these opioids. But Dr. Siegel, I want to start with you. Is this a good idea, a safe space? to legally shoot up drugs? Well, let's, let's start with the idea that I'm not in any way condoning this idea that drug use is killing a lot of people. But what, this isn't the first time. We have syringe services programs throughout the United States. Griff, over 30 states, over 200 programs, and they've been studied for the, by the Centers for Disease Control. They're a place to educate people. They're a place to have naloxone, which is an antidote to opioids. You know what? In Philadelphia, over 60% of the opioid deaths you just talked about are due to fentanyl, which is much more powerful than people know they're getting. So you can decrease overdose deaths using naloxone. You can start them on medically ther medical therapy programs using Suboxone that works. And here's the most important thing. It decreases HIV in people who inject drugs. HIV, mm -hmm. HIV cases decrease by 80%. Hepatitis C decreases dramatically by using these programs, bringing them into the light, right. having medical professionals involved. I'm not condoning it, but it cuts down dramatically on costs so, and on health risks. So, Dr. Siegel, you say good idea. Marie, what do you I, think about you know, it? I, I think we could spend our money on um, rehabilitation, in integrated rehabilitation, and go to the root of the cause and go after the drug manufacturers and the distributors who are um, mismarketing it and they're distributing to um, communities and creating pill mills not doing what they're supposed to be doing what they're supposed to be doing is reporting um, any strange activity to the FDA which they're not doing because they're making money over it so hold them responsible work on rehabilitation and get the message out there that these drugs are addictive the opposite of what everyone's been told there's absolutely there is no evidence that these syringe programs increase use of, of, of intravenous drugs no evidence now I'm not in favor of what they're doing in Nevada where they have it like in a slot machine where you just push a button and you get a syringe okay. that's not what I want I like the idea of medical professionals involved counselors involved people that can start you on medically assisted therapy like suboxone which really really works mm -hmm. I don't you know I'm not talking about decriminalizing this the idea of getting drug uh, pushers in jail is a good idea that's separate from the idea that if you're an addict, you need medical help, you right. need medical supervision, we need to cut down on your transmission of infections by sharing syringes. I, and Marie, you want to weigh in? I would agree that um, there are two issues going on. One is to prevent new addicts from forming. Mm -hmm. So that's going after the manufacturers and distributors and getting the message out. For the people who are already add addicts, I think the way to go is rehabilitation. Whether or not you give them clean syringes and give them Narcan um, so they don't overdose in the right, future, right. I, I'm not against that, but just giving them a location it, where they can shoot up, it's not, it's not going to be legal activity. It, just because they're in this location, they can still get arrested. Right, because they're doing right. the drugs. And, and Dr. Shigal, I want to ask you quickly about, I mean, Seattle, San Francisco seemed to try this, but it failed there. It's, it's failed in Seattle because they had to get city council approval. Here, what Philadelphia is doing, and I think it's going to succeed, is they're going to use a private company. And so I think it will pass. So in other words, with the current laws, mm -hmm. it's hard to get a city council to agree to do this. But to right. get a private company involved has happened all over the country. By the way, I want to agree with one point Marie is making. I think the drug mills are terrible. I think the pharmaceutical companies have enabled this problem. And 250 million prescriptions written by physicians in 2015 wow. for opioids. Physicians bear a lot of the responsibility. That, Dr. Siegel, is unacceptable. There's, I mean, almost every family and community in this country uh, knows someone or has been a affected by this terrible tragedy. Dr. Siegel, Marie Napoli, thank you so Thanks. much for coming thank in for and uh, weighing Thanks, in with us.